Hi, everybody. I'm going to take a couple minutes to go through what the game plan is for today. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to look at some letters that students from last year had written about our class and to try to get an idea of what to expect this year. So I'm going to show you where to find the information and explain what to do, and then I'll let you get reading. So first thing you're going to do is click where it says letters from last year discussion board. Once you've done that, it's going to take you to this page. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on where it says letters from last year document. So go ahead and I'm going to click on that now. You're going to see on this Google document that it explains what you're supposed to do. And then it's also going to contain the letters. So it says letters from last year. At the end of each year, I ask my students to write a letter to the next student who will sit in this seat. I do this for a variety of reasons. So I'm not going to read this word for word. But basically, I like to get students' reaction to the course because I think you're more likely to listen to them because they're teenagers like you than you are to listen to me. And I just honestly appreciate and respect the opinion of my students. So I want you to hear from some of my former students. So as you scroll through this document, you're gonna see that there are 10 letters. I want you to try to read at least five of those letters. So once you've read the five letters, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to Buzz. So just so you can kind of see the document, it says see letters below, and then it'll list all the letters for you to read. Once you've done that, go ahead and get back to the Buzz assignment, and then you are going to add to the discussion board. So you won't be able to see anyone's posts until you post yourself. So go ahead and you're going to respond to the following questions. So after you read the letters, you're going to respond to what questions you have based on what you read. If you can't think of a question based on the letters, you can ask any question you have about the class or about me. I will address these questions the next time I see you. And then based on what the students have said in the letters, list what you believe is valued in this classroom. In other words, what seems to be important to Ms. Florick and her former students based on these letters. So basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to gain an understanding of what this class is going to be like some of my expectations, but also ultimately what's important to me and what seems to have been important to students that have taken my class. All right, that's all you have to do today. Uh, your response will probably be one question, so that's gonna be one sentence. And then I would shoot for around two sentences for that second question. So about total three sentences, it's not gonna be a super long post. That's it, I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you soon.